Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome to Stream of Knowledge. Today we will learn about glycocalyx. What is glycocalyx? As the name suggests, glyco means the glucose and calyx is the coating, meaning the glucose coating or the polysaccharide coating. Why polysaccharide? As the polysaccharide is the polymer of glucose, hence the polysaccharide coating is called glycocalyx. Slime layer and capsule, both of these are glycocalyx. How? Let's simplify it. As you can see here, this is capsule and this is salam layer. Both of these are glycocalyx. As we study what is glycocalyx, the coating of polysaccharide. As we have studied in our previous lectures that the coating of polysaccharide that surround the bacteria is called capsule. While the coating of polysaccharide that is secreted by bacteria is called the salam layer. Both of these are the coating of polysaccharide. Hence, both of these are glycocalyx so what's the difference the difference is that the here the polysaccharide coating or the capsule is tightly uh, adhered to the bacteria as you can see here the capsule is tightly adhered while the slime layer is loosely organized we already discussed about the capsule today we will discuss about the slime layer so what is slime layer Salam layer is a glycocalyx or the polysaccharide coating that is secreted by many bacteria. Remember, we studied that glycocalyx is a non-essential component of bacteria, mean it present in some species of bacteria, not all. Now, let's move toward its function. Why uh, salam layer is important for bacteria and what it is function? Number one is the biofilm formation. What is biofilm? Let us simplify it. This is capsule, this is slime layer and this is biofilm. We already discussed these two. Now let's discuss the biofilm. When many bacteria attach to a surface, for example, prostatic heart valves, skin or catheters, mostly artificial surfaces, they secrete slime layer. And this slime layer form a film, hence called biofilm. As we know, bio mean life. Life mean bacteria are the life, they have life, so they are life, they are hence the biofilm, yani bacteria form a film. Film of what? Film of a polysaccharide coating. This is called biofilm. Means when many bacteria attach to a surface, uh, they secrete a uh, slime layer which form a film called biofilm. Number two is the adherence. This slime layer acts as a glue and it helps the bacteria to adhere with the surfaces. And number three is the protection. We will discuss about the biofilm. Why biofilm is important? Because it protects the bacteria from host defenses, for example, the neutrophils and antibodies. As well as it also protects the bacteria from antibiotics. For example, this is an antibody and it wants to attack on this bacteria but this cell uh, biofilm protect it. Hence, cell arm layer protect the bacteria from host defenses and antibiotics. Now, what is the medical importance of this cell arm layer or glycocalyx? Number one is the pseudomonas originosa cause respiratory tract infection in cystic fibrosis patient. Cystic fibrosis is the lung infection. It's a inherited disease. For example, this is cystic fibrosis patient lung. And here, the bacteria attack here by, uh, with the help of glycocalyx. It attached to the lung surface and cause infection here called respiratory tract infection. Staphylococcus epidermidis and viridin streptococci both cause infection in heart valve in heart with the help of glycocalyx. They could both cause uh, endocarditis uh, due to uh, this glycocalyx or slime layer. Bacteria also adhere to our teeth with the help of this glycocalyx and form a yellowish plaque as you can see in your mouth. So this glycocalyx or slime layer enhance the pathogenicity of bacteria. That was all about glycocalyx. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you really enjoy, like, share, comment and subscribe.